What's up guys, it's Adrian and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Google to run YouTube ads to your videos. So if you've never ran YouTube ads before, then this video is going to be perfect for you. Or if you just need an update on the Google ad platform interface, then this video is for you as well. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to run YouTube ads and it's gonna be all under five minutes. So first thing you need to do is you need to either create a Google ads account or if you have one already, you just need to sign in. So the two options are on the top right. So once you sign in, the next screen you're going to see is this screen and this is where you create your ad campaigns. First thing you need to do is you need to click the plus sign, which is right here, and then click create new campaign. Inside a new campaign, you're going to create a campaign without goal guidance. Once you do that, the campaign type you're going to select is videos. Once you do that, the next thing you're going to do is use video views. However, if you were selling a product or service or if you had something to offer, you'd want to use drive conversion. But again, for this video, we're gonna stick to video views. And it says, get views and engagement from people who are more likely to consider your product or your brand. So click continue. Now this is where you build your campaign. So let's name the campaign something like the name of your song campaign. Then we go to bid strategy. Bid strategy, you don't have to touch this. This is more for if you're advanced where you can set a bid cap. So you're telling the algorithm you don't want to pay more than this amount for a conversion. So next we're going to go to budget and dates. So you can either do campaign total um, or you can do a daily budget. So if you're the kind of person who don't have the time to manage and monitor your YouTube ads every single day, then I would suggest campaign total. But if you are someone who will be monitoring your YouTube ads every single day, then daily is probably for you. And you can also put a start and end date, but if you're gonna be monitoring it every day, you can just leave it open. Now you have networks. So uh, one, you want to turn off video partners on the Google Display Network. Then from there, you can do all countries and territories. You can do US and Canada, you can do United States. Depending on where your audience is, this is where you select or enter your location. This video, we're just gonna do US and Canada. And then for a language, if it's music, electronic music, you can keep it open. But if your music have language to it, then you'd want to select the language that it's in. Or if you're not even running ads to your music, but you're running ads to an offer, whatever the language is of the landing page or the offer, that's the language you want to put it in. So I would leave this on because if you try to turn it off, it says you can't use short ads without using multiple format video ads. So I would keep this on. And then if you go to additional settings, you can see you can change the devices, the frequency caps, the ad schedule, and also third party measurements. So the only thing that I would suggest here to mess with is the frequency cap. So inside the frequency cap, we're just gonna put five per day. And if they don't take action after the fifth time, then don't show today anymore for the rest of the day. However, if you're trying to do a brand play and show your ad to as many people as possible just for brand recognition, then I would leave this off. So you don't want any caps at all. So now you have the audience section. Inside of audiences, you can one, name your audience, and then you can also search based on demographic. So inside demographic, you can choose gender, age, inside additional demographic, you have parent status, household income. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it broad. But if you know your target audience and their demographic, then just put those demographics here. You can find this inside of the analytics. 
Now we move on to interest and detailed demographics. And this is where you can put your targeting. So if you want it completely broad, you don't put anything at all. But let's say you are a musician or a hip hop artist or something like that. You can either go with what they recommend you down here or you can create your own. So you click on the search area and then you have a search or you have browse. So inside browse is broken down into categories. So in market, life events, detailed demographic, affinity and custom interest. Also, you have a button right here that says new segment. So if you cannot find what you're looking for in there, you can just create a new segment. For example, let's say we wanted hip hop, uh, type in hip hop and then look rap and hip hop fans, people who listen to Drake, you have Drake music right here, or you have music by Drake that you can select. However, if I cannot find what I want, then I can click new segment, come here, type in Drake, press enter. And now it creates a new segment and tells you exactly the demographics of Drake or this interest for everyone who is searching on YouTube the, for Drake. They're usually between 25 to 34 years old. Their gender is male 60% and the topic is rap and hip hop, music and audience. So it gives you all the information for Drake. And you can do this for any search term that you're looking for. So I would recommend coming this way if you are if you wanna get very specific. So another way to do what I just showed you um, in the new segment section is to come to the custom search term. So you could type in Drake. Okay, he's not gonna show up or let's go search still doesn't show up. Then you can just go to a new custom search term. And then again, right here, Drake. And it gives you the same information. So you can also do exclusions and you can enable audience expansion. And you can also do targeting based off of keywords, topics, and placement. So inside keywords, you just type in your keyword, Right, so you just type your keywords in a list format, or if you have a website, you put your website there and it, it will scan your website and give you all the keywords it suggests. So then in topics, you can click a topic, so hip hop, so you can do EDM, um, you can do placement. So inside placement, this is where you figure out where you want your video to actually show up. So if you want your video to show up on someone's channel, you can just type in the, the channel here or drop the URL of the channel. You just type in the name of the channel and then it shows up right here. And the cool thing is once you select the channel, it then shows you all the videos that that person or that channel has made. So you can have the video show up on any of that person's videos. So if you know that your music sounds similar to a specific artist and you want your video to show up directly on that person's videos, you just type in their channel. So the next thing is now you input your video. So you can add up to five videos. So you go to your YouTube channel and then you just copy the link and then you just paste the video and now it populates everything for you. You do the final URL here. So say I wanted to send someone to uh, a different link or a landing page or to my Spotify, I put it there or to my download gate, I put the link there. The path, you can change the display, you can add a call to action. So watch now, then you can do a headline. And then the ad name is basically you name the video or the ad that you're creating. So I'll just name it SoundCloud. And then the last step is to do a target CPV. So so YouTube recommends that I do six cents. So I'm going to do 10 cents so I can outbid everyone else. And then you just click create campaign. So now it's created and now you can just verify that all the information is correct. And after that, you just click continue to overview. And now you 
are done. Your ad is now created and now it's in review. Once it's reviewed, then it's going to start showing up on other people's feeds. If you wanted to edit any of these, you can go to campaign on the left, click on the campaign, then it shows you the ad group. So if you wanted to edit the audience, you go to audience. Then if you wanted to edit the location, location, content. Uh, so if you want to edit anything, it will be on the left hand side. So if you're someone who wants to start running YouTube ads or need someone to manage their YouTube ads and don't have time to do it themselves, then there's going to be a link under this video. Just go and click that link and then fill out the application and then I'll be in touch with you. Otherwise, Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found value from it. If you did, go and smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and drop me a comment and then I will see you in one of these two videos.